counter-terror police are frantically searching for traces of a lethal nerve agent thought to have been used in the Salisbury attack after a couple were left in a critical condition. Charlie Rowley, 45, and Don Sturgis, 44, were found collapsed in their home in Amesbury, Wilts, on Saturday less than eight miles from where ex-Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter were exposed to deadly nerve agent. Scotland Yard last night revealed that the Charlie and Don were stricken by the same Novichuk nerve agent used in the attempted assassination of Sergei and Yulia on March 4. The pair visited a park, Queen Elizabeth Gardens, close to where the Scripples were found slumped on a bench after being exposed to the Soviet-era chemical weapon. Mum of three Don lives in a refuge in Salisbury just 300 yards from a Zitsa restaurant where the Scripples dined on the night they were poisoned. One theory is that the couple came into contact with the method of delivery, in other words a container or syringe, used in the reckless nerve agent attack on the Scripples. Facebook, SWNS poisoning, police are hunting for traces of the Novichuk that left the couple critically ill. Public Health England has warned locals against picking up any unknown or already dangerous objects amid fears more people could be struck down. Detectives are today scouring several sites across Salisbury in the belief that the nerve agent used in the Scripple attack may have contaminated other parts of the city. Prime Minister Theresa May has been informed about the situation by security chiefs, who last night confirmed Novichuk had been identified by scientists at Port and Down, just miles from the incident. Authorities do not believe there was a second attack, rather, the couple were, accidentally, exposed to the nerve agent through something they came into contact with, a government source said. They, the authorities, have never been able to ascertain the item used to deposit the Novichuk and it's possible the pair have come into contact with that item, the source said. SWNS Novichuk Hunt, a sealed off bin at the John Baker House where Don Sturgis, 44 lived related articles Facebook fighting for life, Don Sturgis, 44, is critical after being exposed to Novichuk Facebook out of IT, Charlie Rowley, 45, is said to have entered a zombie-like state, Novichuk doesn't evaporate. It exists forever. Government source Wiltshire Police confirmed that Don was rushed to hospital at around 11 a.m. on Saturday after falling ill and struggling to breathe. Rowley, a registered heroin addict, later entered a zombie-like state and was drooling before he too was taken to hospital by paramedics, according to his friend. The pair are believed to have visited several locations in Amesbury and Salisbury during the day, all of which have been sealed off by police. Police are trying to retrace their steps in the hope that they'll find the source of the nerve agent, a discovery that could crack the Scripple investigation wide open. The perpetrator of the Scripple attack blamed on Russia by Mrs. May has never been caught and the names of suspects have never released by police. SWNS contamination, officials in hazmat suits investigating the poisoning of Sergei Scripple cleanup operation to decontaminate the sites involved in the Scripple poisoning were given the all-clear by authorities in the wake of the attack. But now, serious questions are being raised about the effort to eradicate all trace of Novichuk from Salisbury, which is reported to have cost millions to date. There are fears at least one other area in Salisbury city centre was contaminated with the nerve agent but had not previously been identified. Novichuk doesn't evaporate. It exists forever, a government source said. Incineration is the most effective method. But they are not going to burn Salisbury down. Don Sturgis has died and her partner Charlie Rowley is still fighting for his live-in hospital after being poisoned close to where an ex-Russian spy was struck down with the Novichuk nerve agent. Facebook Don Sturgis came into contact with the same poison used in the Scripple assassination attempt SWNS probe. Police at the John Baker House where Don Sturgis, 44, lived Downing Street confirmed Home Secretary Saji Javid will chair a meeting of the COBRA Emergency Committee on Thursday. Speaking to reporters from New Scotland Yard, Metropolitan Police Assistant Commissioner Neil Bosu said police were investigating links between the two poisonings. He said, I appreciate that there will be a great deal of speculation as to whether this incident is linked to the events in Salisbury in March. I would add that the complex investigation into the attempted murders of Yulia and Sergei remains ongoing and detectives continue to sift through and assess all the available evidence and are following every possible lead to identify those responsible for what remains a reckless and barbaric criminal act. I must say that we are not in a position to say whether the nerve agent was from the same batch that the scribbles were exposed to. The possibility that these two investigations might be linked is clearly a line of inquiry for us. Related Articles